What is going on, guys? Cowboy here, and we are back with more Scholar. So, of course, after killing the boss, came and leveled up, up to 73. And the most important thing is, obviously, we have over 20 in both Int and Faith. On top of that, we have our 15, 16 strength decks, which we knocked out earlier. And we are at 20 attunement. So, at this point, the build is really, really starting to come together. So, with that in mind, first thing we're going to go do is go pick up our Hex stuff. And things are about to get a hell of a lot smoother from here on out. So first we'll hit this. Obviously we killed her. No reason to give her souls to do that for us. Especially since we're not buying any of the miracles from her. Some more rogue water. And we're not going to be going through this area just yet. But we are getting up to the start of it for uh, for key goodies. And man, it is a hell of a lot darker in here than it used to be. Almost makes me want a torch. Looks like you didn't move with Scholar. I see it. The darkest spark within you. My name is Elgin. I will drag with you. What? Well, first thing I need you to do is give me stuff. Fuck yes. Together. Thank you, Falcon. This kingdom, all that I left, are like a few misfits. Like I went, I went to, I went to a great school in the south. But I, I learned nothing. It drew me in. The soon I was drawn to this land. Hexes originally, they were once a form of sorcery. Those devoted to hexes are of a lonely lot. Such is the fate of what drew me to the dark. The hexes are, are more, I feel, affinity. Those who, this land, lies, this kingdom, all that I left, I went, I went to. Oh, damn it, I was trying to get to your, your buy, buy item. What else do you have? Arch Jake's staff and chime. Both of which aren't too bad. Chaos Shield. This rapier. I never remember a Chaos Shield. Shield of Darkness and Chaos. What? Chaos Shield. Has that always been in the game? Undead Aberration and Aldius Keep. I don't remember ever seeing that before. Oh well, either way. Oh, we're not interested in that though. We are interested in... Yes, this. Give me Dark Orb. Resonant Soul. You have Great Resonant Soul for sale? <laughs> oh shit. Um, Resonant Soul... Basic, but we'll want one of those as well, probably. I definitely need GRS. Resonant Flesh, not so much. Neither weapon. Um, magic barrier, not really either. As you like. But the big thing is that we got our goodies. So, we got that. Fuck yeah, hex mode. There she is. God, this thing is going to be awesome. Look at the scaling difference I'm getting once I upgrade this. Just a few little, few little pips. It's going to be brutal. All right, so we're going to hop back to Majula real fast here. I'm going to upgrade that. And then my damage will really, really start to shine. Now that I got that, that sexy dark scaling. Actually, I don't even have enough souls to uh, to buy the upgrades for this, probably. Uses. God. Um, let me see. I'm not sure if I even have a uh, regular Titanite, to be honest. Um, force. Oh, yeah, you're twinkling. Okay. So, 
It can only give you one upgrade anyway. With the scaling in effect, I'm curious if the regular staff was still superior. So that's I'm getting 106, but I'm getting 90. That's 145, <coughs> excuse me, plus 56. So 145 plus 56. Okay, so the regular one was slightly stronger for sorceries. Doesn't compare at all for Hex, and obviously we're focusing on Dark Orbs, so... We'll still be better either way. Alright. No, damn it, I picked Tower Apart. Wrong bonfire. Servants' quarters. That's where we want. Actually, I think I'm gonna put in some more eye drops here. Eyes are getting pretty fucking dry. Forgot to put them in before I started recording. All right. So, eyes are nice and uh, nice and moist. You can see clearly. That's a that's a plus. Definitely something you want. When you're playing Dark Souls, you want to be able to see. Could do a literal Dark Souls blind run. Steel key. Steel key. Isn't that what I usually get for going past the gargoyles? Pick the fuck up, man. I'm a hexer. You don't want to fuck with this. Um, you know what? Let's fuck with the gargoyles, actually. I feel like killing them. So I'm curious to see what I get from taking them down now. Zuo P. And who knows, maybe we'll get a little little PvP going. Oh, you again. Why you keep showing up, man? You should know by now that you don't have a chance to beat. Okay, maybe I misspoke. Maybe you do more damage than I thought you were going. And that should hit. Alright, that didn't work out well for me. Looks like it didn't work out too well for you either, though, so. So it's a win win. Sewer in the dark. And there it is. Come on, baby. Yeah, give me that fucking twinkling. Do I have another lockstone? I do. In you go. Alright. So before we go further, obviously I'm going to hop up. Tell you what, he's a, he's a pretty nice source of uh, twinkling titanite. I wonder if he's farmable though. Let's see. Let's see if he respawns. Which, I mean, I'd actually, I'd like to get a lot more, um, you know, more levels before I decide I'm going to start farming the Pursuer, but it would be interesting to note. And it doesn't look like he... Ally required a head. Yeah, for real, man. No, why am I closing that? I might not want to close that. Let's open that shit back up. Because we know... Sure. Why not? We'll do a little bell keeping. <laughs> Toss that on for now. Figure if I gotta go through this area, you know, if I can get some some invasions while I'm here, might as well. It's not gonna hurt. Hey man, I'm in the covenant just like you, buddy. 
Oh shit, never mind. Looks like we're already getting some invasions. Oh yeah. PvP episode in the walkthrough. What's up, man? Whoa! Calm down there with the great sword. You rude dude. No, healing is bad for your health. Stop that. Oh god, no, I'm being pinched. Oh, you fucking pricks. What did they even hit me with? It was like a throwing knife that got me at the end. Son of a bitch. Oh well. All right, where were we? Yes, yeah, so you chased me around with an axe and me blasting you with uh, dark orbs. What's this? Masterless Glencore, oh shit. Well, I mean, uh, I don't know. If I summon him and then someone invades the bell, how does that work? Let's pull him in. Because I would like to kill the, uh, you know, I would like to kill, kill the gargoyles now, and Glencore would be great for that. Hopefully it doesn't, um, like, you know, wipe it so that I can't ever, I mean, it wouldn't, wouldn't make it so, like, I can't ever do it, but, you know, if I get summoned in to defend the bell. I like how I got summoned in against two guys who were literally right there in front of the door. Fucking great sword spam. A couple more levels and people like that will die. I really just don't have the spells yet. Give me an infinity and a GRS and my weapon. We'll see how things go for them. Let's go, Glencore. We got shit to do. I'm ringing the bell. My bell. I can ring it if I want. Where's Glencore at? Looks like he's fighting something, but I don't know where he's at. Actually, while we're just chilling here. Since I already got Glencore long. Oh man, I feel bad for this guy. Oh. There was one more piece of loot around here somewhere. There we go. Spice. Gotta love the spice. There's more spice, actually, uh, down below. I can do the little shortcut roll. Alright, Glencore, let's go see this poor guy. What's up, buddy? Oh, man. A little uppity, aren't you? Fat rolling, are we? Tis, tis the season, I guess. Where is he going? Are you just banking on more gray spirits coming to save your ass? Damn. So we're doing it like this then? Uh oh! Uh oh! Boom! Get the fuck out. Come here, fat roller. Come here, fat roller. Double whammy! Cowboy got good! You guys gotta admit, that was, that was pretty good for me, right? You know, you, you never see me parry. I don't. I just don't parry. But that, 
Mm. That was so good. Dude thought he was going to come in with his little two-hander. I was like, bing! Out of my house. Quite glorious. There we go. Blue tear stone. Fuck yeah. That actually makes me feel a lot better, especially after getting gangbanged by the greatsword boys. There's the spice. And I'd say we're ready to go, uh... What is that one? Is it an NPC? The coal train. I like your, your gamer tag. I do love the coal train, but... Being shoved in a corner like that, I'm assuming you're waiting for a friend. You probably don't have the name. Either way... Two of my fellow bell bros got rocked out. Do I have enough? I might have enough. I'm not sure. We'll find out. Let me, um... I don't need that on. What's it at? Oh, Blue Tear Stone. Never mind. I thought I was thinking you were the, the cast ring. Yeah, never mind. You're kind of pointless. Um, anything else? Nope. Fuck it. Let's go. Time to kill some uh, fucking gargoyles. Glencore. Glencore, help me! Glencore, I need you to distract these guys. Oh, man. They aren't very, uh... Man, these guys aren't, uh... I used to hit them a lot harder, I thought. I mean, they're hitting weaker as well, but... so I might as well use it since I'm out of the hex right now. Ow. Fuck. Oh boy, this could be bad. This is like strangely easy compared to how I remember the fight. I don't know why, it's hard to describe. It's, it just feels easier than it used to. I mean, it might just be a placebo effect because I've played through it so much. Maybe it's because Masterless Glencore is doing the majority of the tanking while I just sit here and spam spells. I don't know. Could be a lot of things. Probably has to do with Glencore doing a lot of the work. There we go. couple more great heavies. And I think it's... Are you the last gargoyle? Are you the last gargoyle? I think you are. And boom! Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. That's another one. Good looking out, Glencore. Cowboy's on fire. Double invader kill. Gargoyle's first attempt? Fuck yeah. Southern Ritual Ban. Alright. More spells. Always nice. Light that baby up. Right, now we're gonna get through this little lower area, and then from there, we will wrap things up. I really do need to upgrade my staff. I think I, and I think I actually have enough twinkling to put it up to point plus two. Ah, uh, I hate this part. Ow, 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 god damn it, and here comes Borgil, and I can't fucking move, man. Leave me alone, dogs. Back up, Borgil. Back up, Borgil. Oh god, no. Oh god, no. No stamina. No stamina. No stamina. 
All right, come on, follow me. We're gonna play around the Rosie. We're playing the Cowboy Choke Point Edition, where I all round you up onto the stairs, and then I swing, and you all die. Borgel, it's not your turn yet. Wait your turn. All right, now for you, big guy. Man, could you guys have a ma like? It's so crazy, you know. I'm just thinking back to doing this area when I initially played Dark Souls, just how absolutely hellish this was for me. You know, like I, I this one part, I probably died. Wow, dragon tooth? What? And a petrified something? No shit. But I probably died in this area like 15 times, at least, at least something like that. It was absurd. And now. Now we're just like, yup, wrecked, 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 and wrecked. Tyrannosaurus wrecked. Like, bam. Yep. All right, guys. Well, either way, that takes out that one, and we got the uh, Belfry Luna knocked out. So at this point, I'm gonna spend some souls to upgrade the weapon, upgrade my stats. And uh, following that, we will take on the rest of the Bastille. So, hope you guys enjoyed Belfry Luna. I think it was definitely fun to, you know, knock that out, get a little bit of PvP in. Definitely regrettable that the only invasion I got in kind of ended in, you know, instant molestation by two swords. But the other ones went pretty well. So, either way, thanks for coming by, and we will catch you guys next time with more Scholar of the First Sin.